Okay, hold tight. What is it, Nasha? Oi! was the very last piece they had. It's perfect! I'll have my dream kitchen at last! Oh, you haven't got far with the painting, though, have you? I'm taking extra special care, dear. You can't rush a good job, you know. Hmm. All right. I'll go and look for curtain rails. Bye! Whatever you do, don't let anything happen to that material. <laughs> of course not, dear. I'll guard it with me life. Shame about the kite, Nasha. But it wasn't big enough anyway. <laughs> no. What we need is a big sail so we can go really fast. <laughs> <laughs> to make a sail for me skateboard. Got any ideas? Why, <sighs> what? Hey! Can I use that? Uh, yeah. Cool! Thanks, Dad! Okay! So perfect, years, and now look at it, ruined! Um, I, I couldn't possibly have me sail back, could I? No, you can't. I'm confiscating it. It's a danger to public safety, and so are you! But you can't do that! It's not yours! Can't I? Watch me! No! Wait! Hello? Dennis, where are you? Are you bringing that material back? Yeah, I'll be right there, Dad. Just uh, um, having a chat with the Colonel. Oh, right, Nasha, this is getting serious. Well, might as well get some use out of it. I've always wanted a hammock. <laughs> Magnificent. That's well out of order. Right. Sh 
surely he doesn't think I'm going to fall for that old trick. So, the little ruffian wants a battle of wits, does he? Well, he's going to find he's bitten off more than he can chew. He's so clever. Let's see how he copes with this. Come and get it now if you dare. <laughs> he hasn't reckoned with your mighty munch power, has he, Nasha? <laughs> And I know how to get there without him seeing us. <laughs> have to stay calm. <laughs> stay calm. <laughs> breathe. Don't forget to breathe. <gasps> hmm. No sign of him. What's he up to, eh? We must be there. I can feel something. We'll have to get it out the way. Go on, Nasha. Do your stuff. <laughs> Find something to block it. Oh dear. Then, son? Oh no, not that one. What? I changed my mind. I thought we'd have this one instead. What do you think? Oh, oh no! Stop! It's no good, Pie Face! No! We're in trouble! It's the school concert. 
it in a couple of days. And without Curly on drums, even Walter's soppy trio will sound better than us. <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. But what's more important than band practice? I don't know. He's been acting weird ever since he started collecting boobips. What bips? Boobips. You know, they're on TV. Boobips are cool. They're lots of fun. Make sure you collect everyone. All right, then. So what do you reckon Curly's up to, then? Only one way to find out. <laughs> For Operation Curly Watch. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Ooh, bits are cool. They're lots of fun. Make sure you collect. I can't believe it. He's thrown his burger away. He doesn't really want the food. He just wants the boo bit. But why? But what? That's what we're going to find out, Pie Face. Come on! Good news? OK, I'll come over right away. Come on! We've got to follow him! Who's he going to meet? Oh, I hope it's not a girl. <sighs> he's going to your house, then! No, he's not. He's going to... Walter's! <laughs> so, is everything going according to plan, Walter? Oh, I'll say. I told Curly the cafe was giving away boobips and he rushed over there right away. Missed band practice again. <laughs> oh, goody. Without Curly, the din makers will be hopeless. <laughs> Even more hopeless than usual. <laughs> exactly. And without them lowering the tone, the undisputed stars of the school concert will be the Walter Chamber Trio. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly <Top> good. <laughs> Shh, here he comes. Uh, hello, Curly. Uh, how are you? Uh, OK. Uh, I can't stop. I've got to get home to settle my new boo bip in with his pals. Uh, you said you had some good news? Yes, indeed. Thanks to Father's connections, I shall be taking delivery tonight. And can I have a good look at it and and play with it a bit? Of Boo course, Bip, Curly Bob. Yeah, Boo, OK. Uh, Bob. I don't believe it! Curly and Walter! Friends! <laughs> it's like Walter has got Curly under a spell. Did you hear them talking gobbledygook? Yeah, I couldn't understand it. That's because it was gobbledygook, Pie Face. Oh, right. Anyway, he sounds like Walter's getting something Curly wants and it's being delivered tonight. And we're going to find out what it is. <laughs> OK, everyone, you know the drill. Shouldn't take long. A warm wind boobip, the rarest boobip of all. And now that you belong to me, Mr. Warmwim, I can use you to control that silly boy Curly. This could mean the end of the din makers. And who knows? Perhaps even the end of Dennis. Huh. We'll see about that. <laughs> 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 No problem, Pie Face. I know what Curly wants now, and we're going to make sure he gets one. We are? Yeah. We're gonna make him the best one win boobip ever. Three eyes, eight legs, four wings, and one long tongue. Perfect. <laughs> I found him, Dan. Great. We're ready. <laughs> well, almost. Uh, hi, Curly. Hi, 
Dennis. Listen, we know you're collecting boobips. Me? Oh, no way. That's mad. <laughs> Me collect boobips. <laughs> it's kid stuff. So, you'll not want the one whim we got you, then? Oh, no. Uh, you got me a one whim? Yep. OK, I do collect boobips. And, yes, I'd love to own a one whim. Who wouldn't? Then your wish is granted. Ta-da! <laughs> is this a joke? Huh? I collect authorised figures, not fakes. That's not a fake. Yeah. Dan should know. He made it. OK, it is a fake. But it's not the only fake around here, is it, Curly? What do you mean? I mean, you're supposed to be with us, not hanging out with Walter. What? I'm not... Yes, you are. We saw... Hey, since when do I need your permission to hang out with anyone? Wait, Curly! I didn't mean to... Oh, it's no good. If we're to get Curly back with us, we'll have to find him a real one whim. But we're still broke, then. And we're running out of time. Don't worry. We'll get the cash. We'll just have to earn it. Not bad for a few hours' work. Easily enough to buy a one whim. But then, where are we going to find one to buy? Well, we know someone who's got one, don't we? We'll just make him an offer he can't refuse. Careful! It's very valuable. I uh, know, but this is probably the nearest I'll get to owning one. Well, you can always come and play with it, as long as you behave yourself, of course. Walter, you've got guests. Oh, that'll be Bertie and Dudley. Hang Bip on, Bob Chaps. <gasps> oh, it's you. What do you want? We've come to buy your one win. Really? I can't think why you'd want it. We don't. It's for our mate, Curly. I'm sorry. It's not for sale. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe you'll change your mind when you see this. <gasps> Goodness. Hang on, Dan. Where'd you get all that money? Oh, delivering magazines. And doing gardening. And walking dogs. And you did all that just for me? Hey, what are mates for? We wanted everything to be like before. Just the three of us. <laughs> and Asher, of course. You know what? Me too. Come on, let's get out of here. So long, one win boy. What? <laughs> Friends for life. Pity we've got a new drummer. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go practice. The din makers are back in business and ready to rock and roll. I knew it. They've lowered the tone of the whole evening. Well done, son. You certainly rocked out. Played well. Thanks, Dad. It's been a great day all round. Yeah, we're all back together. The concert rocks. And we've still got all that money, too. Ah, yes, about that, Dennis. I've had a call from Sergeant Slipper. You have? Yes, about your fundraising efforts. Apparently, all the magazines were damaged and you broke a mains water pipe in Mrs Creech's garden and all the dogs had to go to the groomers. And I'm afraid everyone wants full compensation. Well, Mum, that's rock and roll.
It. Allergic to his own pet. We'll get Nasha back from Beano Town Kennels just as soon as we find a cure for your allergy to dogs, Dennis. Okay, Dad. How about we have a pizza for a snack? You can have it in your room if you like. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Result! <laughs> Brilliant! Oh, it's Dennis! Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! Whoa! Watch it, pie face! Sorry. Falling, falling. Right, men, we know why we're here. Yes, sir! Dennis, sir! Yes, uh, No, uh, What's happening, sir? I'll recap. And this time, pay attention at the back. So, Nasha was taking Nipper, his beloved pup, for a walk in the park. In an obvious case of mistaken identity, Nipper was accused of stealing sausages and hauled off to Beano Town Kennels. Nasha was devastated. Of course he was. We've got to get Nipper back. I'm ahead of you, Curly. Plan A is already in full swing. Gentlemen, I give you Operation Breakout. Mum and Dad think I'm allergic to dogs, so... Nasha has been taken to Beano Town Kennels, which is obviously a really horrible place. Somewhere inside is poor, half-starved Nipper. Nasha will find him, of course. He'll probably go crazy when he sees how Nipper's suffering. Then, first chance he gets, he'll break out of there and bring Nipper back to us. Meanwhile, we wait for Dad to bring us treats. Incoming pizza! You better get back to your sick bed. Right. <sighs> oh. Here we are, son. All right. I, I mean. Thanks, Dad. Uh, I mean, uh, oh, uh, your rash seems to be getting worse. <coughs> oh, must be the uh, all the dog hairs in here. You better give this place a, a bit of a clean up. <laughs> <laughs> This is weird. It's been ages since they took Nasha. I'd have thought he'd be back with Nipper by now. Oh, Dennis. What is it, Pie Face? Have you got an idea? Yeah. Could you get your dad to bring you a pie next time? Poor Dennis. He's really missing Nasha. He's not the only one. I never thought I'd say this, but I miss my slippers being half chewed. They're more comfy that way. And with no dog to beware of, it seems like the whole of Beano Town is coming to our door. Nasha does do a good job of keeping people away. Without him, I can't get a moment's peace. It must be tough in that kennel if Nasha hasn't broken out yet. His teeth can gnash through anything. <sighs> oh. I miss my dog. For the hundredth time, I do not need a musical toilet brush, nor do I need a Mexican poncho, a garden gnome for all seasons, or a patio thermometer. Oh, I miss that dog. Nasha must be trapped in the kennel, and it's all my fault. I have to get him out. But how? <sighs> it's time for Plan B. I hope there are no horrible dogs about. Uh, woof, 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 uh, etc, etc. Oi, you nasty little brute! Give me back my sausages! Ow! Easy, mate! 
Wait! Help! Help! This dog tried to steal my sausages! Naughty dog! Naughty, naughty dog! Oh! oh Puffy! <laughs> All right, dog. Let's be having you, you little troublemaker. Right? What the? Oh. Ruff, here I am in the van. Woof, woof. Best place for you, naughty sausage thief. Oh, right, who did that? It was a naughty boy, a very naughty boy. Oh, it was, was it? Well, at least we've got the naughty dog. Gave himself up without a fight, I see. Obviously feeling guilty. Woof, woof. I should think so, too. Right, it's the kennels for you, my lad. Everything. I ground them into myself. <laughs> Something tells me Nasher has had enough. Dennis, Dennis, are you okay? Dennis, where, where's it? Coming home with me. Oh, really? I think they like it here. Don't you, boy? <laughs> Come on, Nasha. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Here's a flight of your favourite num nums. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely saucy sausages. <laughs> 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 And when you've eaten your num nums, oh. you can put on your special cozy wozies. <laughs> That's me, dog. <laughs> My precious needlework <laughs> ruined. Ungrateful mongrel. <laughs> I'll choose a new favourite doggy. Oh. Pretended to be allergic to dogs, did you? Get your own dog hauled off to the kennels, would you? Just to get us to wait on your hand and foot, eh? Well, now it's your turn. Oh, thanks, love. Hope it's nice and strong. Oh, and don't forget that special treat for the boys. Poor old Nasha, sent away to the kennels for no good reason. Here's some lovely sausages for you. <laughs> Help yourselves to those, eh, Nasha? And you, Nipper. <laughs> Go on, have as many as you want. <laughs> <laughs> We 
leaves. Past the defender. He shoots. <laughs> goal! Oh, uh, goal! Ollie oh. Edson! Pass! Pass to me! That's it! <laughs> We have suspected naughtiness at Beano Town Park. Uh, I'm in the park now. Uh, out. Oh, now where did they go? Aha! And it all hinges on this final penalty kick. He shoots! <laughs> Takes the ball! Oh no! <laughs> do, do. What the dickens is going on, Slipper? Well, it's that Dennis, sir. That child, Dennis? All this is the work of a child? Well, he's no ordinary child, sir. Uh, run me ragged for years, he has. I think it's time you had some help to catch him. A splendid trainee of mine from police college. Smashing fellow. He's sharp, efficient and has legs like tree trunks. Sergeant Slipper, I think it's time I introduced you to Sergeant Boot. Come on, Nasher. Let's skate. Whoa! Wow! What was that? <laughs> Someone's taken the wheels off. <laughs> Who are you? Boot, Sergeant Boot. Oh, good. I think someone's stolen the wheels from a skateboard. I know, I did. Health and safety. Skateboards cause damage to public property. Now, empty your pockets. Oh dear, very dangerous. It's a yo yo, it's just a toy. <laughs> Yo-yos used irresponsibly also cause damage. Danger neutralised. Now, we must examine all your possessions for possible hazards. Good. That's all the dangerous stuff. Though, this dog is an Abyssinian tripound, is it not? Riddled with fleas they are. He'll have the whole town scratching. Better put him in quarantine. Just to be safe. Put, 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 Wait! Come back! Nasha! What kept you? Nash is in trouble. We've got to help him. Boot confiscated our wheels. And the seats. And my little silver bell. Never mind that. Come on! Wait, Mr Ha Ha. Don't close up yet. We've got to mount a rescue operation to get Nasha back. No children allowed in joke shops. Order of me. Boot, where's my Nasha? Locked up, horrible flea bag. Don't you dare say that about Nasha. On your way, or I'll run you in for aggravated cheek. <laughs> Congratulations, Boot. All these fine arrests. Outstanding. No tennis, though. Only a matter of time, sir. As soon as he steps out of line, he's mine. Get out there, Slipper, and if you can't measure up to boot, then that's what I'll be giving you. The boot. Get it? Nah, the boot, Slipper. But I've already got boots, sir. Out! Poor Nash is in a cage. And it sounds like Sergeant Slipper's boss wants to give his job to boot. Well, I'll fix him. Look out! Shall I compare the... Come on now, break it up. We're just reading poems. It's a front for mischief. From now on, no children will be allowed to congregate in groups larger than... one. What about chess club? <laughs> That's harmless enough, surely. Too dangerous? Well, we just sit on chairs. Chairs mean danger. What about drama club? Out of the question. And safety club? Far too dangerous. But it was Sergeant Slipper who set up the safety club. Well, I think it's safe to say Old Slipper will be looking for a new job now I've single-handedly cleaned up Beano Town. Now go. Trouble with Boot, Walter? Yes. He's a rotten spoil sport. Almost makes you miss Slipper, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Such a polite, charming man. OK, don't overdo it, Walter. But, yeah, Slipper's all right. And now Boot's after his job. Oh, my. Boot's in charge of Beano Town. Yeah. If only old Slipper could show him up. Can
catch a few criminals of his own. Not very likely, though, is it? Maybe he could do with a little bit of help. What do you say? Well, just this once. Thanks for these, uh, walkie-talkies, Mr. Ha Ha. Fox One, you ready? Uh, Foxy Fox Man One, ready? Now remember, Pie Face, you're trying to get Sergeant Slipper to catch you. Gotcha. <laughs> Oi, stop that! Now, uh, I'm fairly certain that's littering. <laughs> oh, my tail's falling off. Right, you. <laughs> Fox One, did Slipper catch you? Uh, oh, ow! Not exactly. Littering, eh, naughty boy? Fox One, Fox One, hello. Fox Two, come in, you ready? Yeah, Fox Two ready. What's this? Uh, vandalism, eh? Yep, on purpose. Oh, dear me. Oh, I'm going to have to book you, Curly. Now then, uh, where's my notebook? Um, uh... um Sergeant? Ah, no excuses. Oh, no! Did he get you? Not quite. Vandalise the mare, will you? Into the van. Fox 3, come in. Yes, Fox 3. Oh my, I hear footsteps. Sergeant Slipper's coming! <laughs> oh! Sergeant Boots! Oh, Walter, you're a long way from Safety Club, aren't you? Oh my! Oh, what a mess! But you still have Fox 4, don't you? Of course! Fox 4! Go! in the high street. All units to the high street. Over. Aha! A proper arrest! <laughs> I arrest you in the name of the law. Oh, Sergeant Slipper. I've met me match. I'll come quietly. No, you don't, Slipper. He's mine. I suppose this is your doing. No, sir. I can explain, sir. I have subdued a dangerous rogue biker, sir. What's this? Oh, I was having some trouble controlling my mobility bike, you see. And a policeman was helping me. <laughs> and then this dog leapt on board. But, sir, she's a menace, a dangerous criminal. <laughs> she's only a little old lady. Indeed. Looks like you've been working too hard, Boot. Oh, here comes that nice policeman now. Such a kindly, polite gentleman. What happened to the rogue? Thanks for helping me, Grand Slipper. Yes, good lad, Slipper. My apologies, madam, uh, and to you, Dennis. Uh, I leapt to conclusions. Now, see the lady home, Slipper, while I have words with Boot about this great big hole in my police station. Catch you later, Fox Four. <laughs> what are you two grinning at, eh? You look like best friends. Friends? Really? You'd hardly expect me to associate with a common lout like him, would you, Sergeant? And I definitely don't play with big wussies like him. No. No, of course you don't. <laughs> yeah, me too, pal. Good to have you back. I must admit, the place hasn't been quite the same without your hairy friend. <laughs> Although, he still hasn't learned any manners. <laughs> everything back to normal, eh, Walter? Hmm, yes. Everything back to normal. <laughs> Is 
that what I think it is? It is! <gasps> oh, way, hey! The coolest computer game console ever! It's not even out till next week. Father knows the boss at the Way Hey Factory. <laughs> it's here in Beano Town, you know. Yeah, I took the factory tour. They've got demo models. It's ace. How about giving them a game? All right, but let's make it interesting. Anyone I beat has to come to After School Club with us. Oh, yes, it's fun. Uh, we're doing form filling today <laughs> and tidying. And cooking. Yikes! They should call it worse than school club. As long as you win, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Press play, Walter. Please, please, please. OK. The game's Rock Guitar Legend. You sure? I always win at Rock Guitar Legend. Absolutely. Here goes. <laughs> the game code and rock guitar legend becomes air violin legend <laughs> It's really interesting. If I win, Pie Face and Curly go free. If I lose, I'll go for the rest of the year. <laughs> but I should be allowed to do some homework too. Lend me a manual and I'll meet you at After School Club. Unless you're chicken, of course. <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> It's a deal, but if you don't show up, the whole of Beano Town will know your chicken. I was just buying time. The factory's in Beano Town, right? If I can sneak some practice time on a demo model, I'll have a chance of beating Walter. Huh? It's a long shot. But I can't let Curly and Pie Face down. Let's get on the next factory tour. <laughs> Welcome to After School Club. First, form fill-in. Every good citizen should be able to complete a form neatly. <laughs> oh. As you can see, the factory is fitted with the latest high-tech security. What about the way, hey? Are you going to show us a way, hey? And to protect the delicate machinery, a super-advanced climate control system. I heard you've got demo models! Indeed. Here is the very first demo model of the way, hey. Anybody mind if I have first go? This model is for display only. This is no good. We've got to get our hands on a way. Hey. Hmm. A good 
good citizen's home is a dust-free home. Where they make the way. There's got to be a finished one in here somewhere. system alerted us the moment you entered an unauthorized area. Your every move was monitored and analyzed. We were impressed. Very impressed. Y you were? Yes. I just want to ask you one question. How would you like to star in our next game? Our top designer has been working flat out, creating the environment and characters based on your special moves. <laughs> we, we thought we'd call the game Grand Dinismo. <laughs> Excellent! And I'll give it a live test! If you want to join After School Club, you'll have to come back next week. He'll be here, Mrs Creature. I'm about to make sure of it. What's it going to be, Dennis? Rock guitar legend? Boogie Breakdown Dance Master? Grand Dennis Moe! Huh? I'll take you all on! Ready? Game on! Dennis must want to come to After School Club forever! Tell us what to do, Walter, and we'll thrash him! Uh, um, I don't know what to do! I've never seen this game before! <laughs>
grand, crashed her motorbike again. Still, at least these flowers should cheer her up, eh, Nasha? Excuse me, madam. Do you know where I can buy some flowers, please? Hey, mister, I'll sell you these if you like. Plenty more where they came from, eh, Nasha? <laughs> oh, thanks very much. <laughs> Uh-oh. Die, you! We're with the flowers. What? Hang on. Oh. Hey, you. No dogs. It's a toy. Anyone can see that. Look! You pull his ear to make him wag his tail, and you press his nose to make him bark. Ooh, that's good. Have a go. <laughs> Realistic, isn't it? So, you were sold the flowers by a boy with a dog, were you? I think I know who that is. Dennis, how's me bike? Bad news, Gran. I'm afraid it's smashed to bits. Smashed to bits? Oh, I was only doing 150. Oh, but never mind. Go and get us a cup of tea. All right, Gran. There they are. Dennis, just as I thought. Come on, come on. What's the matter with the lifts in this place? Get him! Till I tell you. <gasps> right, Nasha, we're out of here. Nasha? <gasps> Come on, where are you? <gasps> Who's a lovely little baby, eh? Dad is going to be ever so proud. And look, here he is. Hello, love. Oh, is that my little boy? Yeah, love. Oh, he's gorgeous. And look, he's got hair already. Oh, goody, goody, goo. Oh, goody, goody, goo. Here, I've uh, got something for you. Oh. Ooh, is it my favourite? <laughs> Might be. Nasha, ear boy! 
Oh, it is. Oh, you know how to spoil a girl. Mr. and Mrs. Butcher, sorry to trouble you, but there's been an outbreak of baboonic plug. Baboonic plug? Ooh, I've never heard of that, have you, love? No, never. Hmm. Maybe it was bubonic plague. <laughs> oh, is it serious? Thought we'd just have a light snack to steady our nerves. That's very kind, love. Shame little Junior can't have any. He's taking it all in mind. Look how he moves his head. He's eating meat already. I reckon we've got us a child prodigy. Oh, that's nasher for you. One sniff of free grub and his brain turns to jelly. How are you going to get him back? Simple. We put this down the chimney. He bites on it, we pull him out. You serious? Who'd be daft enough to climb up on the roof with a fishing rod? What? The authorities are now searching Beano Town for the perpetrator of this wicked hoax in which people feared they had caught bubogic plane. I'm sorry, that's bubonic plague. <laughs> Now what's got into him? I think he wants to crawl. <laughs> Look at him go. Well, don't let him get dirty in the fireplace. Yeah, what's this? Got him! <laughs> Hang on, by <bye> face! <laughs> into a lot of trouble for this. Why? We're only borrowing it. Huh? <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, love, but this is beginning to cost us a fortune. Better that than a baby who won't eat. <laughs> now what's got into him? Dennis, you are so busted. But it was an accident. It's all because they took my dog. Stop talking nonsense. You are coming with me, my boy, and I wouldn't want to be in your shoes when your dad finds out about this. Where are Mr and Mrs Butcher? You left your baby at the hospital. Our baby? Huh. What do you call us then? <laughs> you see? It's true. This is your baby here, Mrs. Butcher. Look! <laughs> oh, he's lovely. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Don't think that you're off the hook, Dennis. But what about his house? It doesn't matter. We're just so happy to have our baby. Oh, seems you are off the hook then. Whew. of you to treat us like this, Mr Butcher. My pleasure, son. Thanks to you and the insurance, we've got our dream home. Are you sure Nasha won't have some? No, thanks. Not until he's lost a bit more weight. 